You can't PvP in 2023 without being called toxic. That word is so overly used to describe basic PvP encounters in games, it's getting tiresome. There is actual toxicity in games, no doubt. But the majority of, quote, toxic behavior are just people playing a video game the developers made. Players will carelessly get labeled toxic and reported for hurt feelings because someone lost in the video game. Sea of Thieves has a major problem like this running rampant in its community. A direct quote from Rare's Mike Chapman sums up this game perfectly. The design philosophy is that players are a key part of the difficulty of Sea of Thieves. They are the difficulty variable. There's always a chance of seeing another sale on the horizon. That balance between having these rich PvE adventures while having the possibility of PvP encounters, that is what Sea of Thieves is. That is the heart of what Sea of Thieves is, end quote. That's always been Rare's vision for their game. When you encounter cool people playing, winning or losing, no matter the outcomes, GG's and well plays are shared, cherish those players, befriend them, because they are rare as fuck today. You have so many players crying because of their own carelessness in the way they play. They want you to feel toxic, because they stack loot for five hours without selling, and they got sunk. We are very lucky to have a game like Sea of Thieves that gives us the freedom. To be a hero, to be a villain, and God forbid, be a pirate. 